Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm doing great, and you? I'm fine, I'm fine too, thank you. How was your day today? Wait a second, please. Sure. I'm back. All right, good. Hello, Jaime. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, how are you? Fine, you? I'm okay, thank you. How was your day today, Jaime? How was your day today, Ivan? Uh, the day, well, well, I have a lot of to do in my office, but, uh, well, but I um, need to have a meeting with the, the manager in the offices and, and another partner, and then I had to work in to finish whatever activity they need to 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 do today but well, i have a heck today but every day it's hard in my office all the time but well it's my job is your job stressful it's your job stressful yeah, it's stressful. Not really, not stressful, but uh, that you need to, uh, to coordinate in a lot of activity in my office. They had to have in charge, uh, have a discussing whatever the situation or problem we have with, with, the, with our client, with our employees in the offices, and then well, it's my, my job. But uh, sometimes it's stress, but stress, but. It's common, it's common on my daily basis, every day. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, class, I'm going to share my screen with you. Tell me if you can see it. Can yes. you see it? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's listen to this intro video. Yeah, I see the screen. All right, there is I see Gio. What's up, Gio? Welcome. Hi, good evening. You're about to watch the very last video of this course. We hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. You can hear, right? Yes. Yes. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic, <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing. Whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. 
do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right, right. that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that i think you know i'd like to listen i'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're going to do that i think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear walkmans or ipods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening what advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception. And we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. I think in El Salvador, we are more advanced because um, we, we use headphones while driving. <laughs> I saw people doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've seen people, yeah. people chat, people, yes. oh man. Even the makeup. Or the Uber, the Uber drivers, they're worse the, now. Oops. The Uber drivers, they're like, they can they don't care. They're, they just drive and, okay, where am I? And they can stop in the middle of the street. And can't you see I'm lost? Like, oh, oh wow, it's my fault. <laughs> yeah. So we're a little more advanced. In El Salvador, I now do you see more cyclers on the street? Cyclers? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, at the morning. Yeah, in the morning I see a lot. Like for example, when you go to um, Merliot or Santa Elena. Yeah, like there's a lot. There yeah, are strong. even groups. Uh, they're out to cycling. It's true. It's true. 
Okay, let me see. Okay, here we're going to learn how to give opinions with auto, should, have to, have got to, and must. We did that once, but okay, listen to this. Hi, I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. When you think something is a good idea. Cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi. I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, uh, just real quick here. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hold on. So here, the models would be should and ought to, must and have to. I'll make it easier for you. Okay. Should and ought to is an advice. Yes, should and ought mm -hmm. to is an advice. If you go outside, you should take a jacket. It's cold. Correct? Yeah. Can you give me another advice? Uh, mm -hmm. Ricardo, give me an advice you think should. Um, you should um, you should be uh, asleep early in at night. You should go to bed early at night. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, let me see. Veronica, can you give me an example of what you should? Okay. Um, Claudia, can you give an example of what you should? Class, can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Hello. Okay. Yes. yes. Um, so, oh. Sorry, an example with? With should. Should. Uh, we oh. shouldn't eat junk food? <laughs> you shouldn't eat junk food. Okay, good. 
All right, good. So what is shirt class? An advice. It's an advice. What is ought to is the same as should. What is the difference? Mm, nothing. But really, nobody uses ought to anymore. Ought to. I mean, yeah, people still use it, but nowadays, normally people just use should. The okay. meaning is the same. Yes, it's the same. <laughs> Next, we have must and have to. Must and have to. The two are an obligation. You must use face mask to, um, right now. Yes. Or you have to use a face mask right now. Yeah. The two are obligations. But if you ever ask me, what is the difference between must and have to? That's like if I ask you in Spanish, Hey, ¿por qué hay gente que dice tenés que ir o debes de ir? Ah, que lo mismo. Wow, well, tenés que y debes de. Maybe, but there, there is a little difference. Do you know what the difference is? No. Okay, the difference is that when you say must, it's, a, it's an obligation. I'm sorry, have to is an obligation. Yes. It's, it's, it's mandatory. Yes, must is a legal obligation, legal, uh -huh. o autoridad. What is authority? Authority can be the police, your mother, your father. Ministerio de Hacienda. <laughs> Ministerio de Hacienda. Your doctor, <laughs> your teacher. Well, you know, depends where you are. You know, the authority is, uh, you know, but as a mujeres, authority, your husband. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was waiting. I was waiting. I was waiting for somebody to. Okay. So, the difference is, must uh, it's a it's a legal it's a legal, obligation. Legal. legal obligation. Have to it's a legal obligation. Have to is an obligation. Have to is an obligation. Mm -hmm. But something is not really legally, but it's mandatory. No, it's legal. Not really. You okay. can you can go out without using face mask, but it is it, it, not, not. But more in more in more ways, yes, you have you have to use because if you not did not use face mask, you can have I don't know. It, to get to get an infection, no, or coronavirus. No, but but it's that, not legal. No, it's not it, legal. Okay. If you go to a store, a la tiendita de la vuelta, right? They have. If you don't have a face mask, no lo atendemos. Yes, it's not legal, pero es una regla interna de ellos. Is, is, is this a rule? Yeah, is this a rule? Yeah. It's a rule, yes. Mm -hmm. Is this a rule that, that, that the, some rule that you can use moral or you have, and sometimes you have an obligation. If you can drive a car, you need a, you need a, a, a license. You must have but a you license. But you can use, you can need to have a license. But it's legal. Yes. Okay. So imagine to go to the United States, legalmente, you <laughs> must have a visa or you have to have a visa? You must, must. have a visa. You must. You must. You must have a visa. Yeah, that's not optional. No, it's not optional. It's legal. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. When you drive, you must use a seatbelt or you have to. I don't understand. I think it, it, it can be bought because legally there there is a requirement that yes. Uh, no, I mean people uh, don't do it. People, it's an obligation people, to. Yeah, some people don't do it. But really, a young policia they, puede they, decir, you must wear a seatbelt. Yeah. You like it or not, you must. If you don't like yeah. it, then don't drive. <laughs> o sea, un policía tiene derecho a decirle eso. 
but I don't like to wear a seatbelt. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, but you must, because there's a law that says you must wear a seatbelt. Yes. So must is a legal obligation of authority, and have to is an obligation. Mm -hmm. Of them is an obligation. Just, just an but obligation. Let's voy a dar un, un ejemplo. A father in El Salvador se separa de la mujer. He has to pay child support or he must. He must. He must. He must. Yeah, there's no, there's no, um, ahí le cae la, la. Entonces, yeah. <laughs> Entonces, es, es la diferencia. No, él tiene que pagar. No, debe de pagar. So that's the difference between tener que y deber que. In Spanish. Tener que es una obligación. Yo tengo que ir al trabajo mañana, pero debo estar ahí a las 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. For example, teacher, what about when in in the example about discotheque in a discotheque you should use a formal cloth to go go in into the disco yes it should. But, yes it's, you a, should. it's a authority no it depends because sometimes outside the disco they say if you no no tennis shoes no tennis or, uh, uh, Entonces es una regla. No, no. Esa es la autoridad. La autoridad es la gerencia de Sadico. Ah, uh, ok. But, uh -huh. Es más. But no, it's legally, but it's, it's politic of the disco. Yes, exactly. So, mm -hmm. yes, so then they write, you must have your shirt inside, or you must have, you must have pants, not shorts. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you want, if you don't want, yes. no, no, no. Pero les vuelvo a repito, you can say, hey, you have to have a visa or you must have a visa. The two are correct, se entienden. Pero si algún día se preguntan, what is the difference? Must tiene más peso. Must no es negociable. Okay. You have to? It's just an obligation. It's just an obligation, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ejemplo. You pagarle, must finish pa the platform. Pagarle a Simán. <laughs> you, you have to pay Simán or you must pay Simán? Maybe it must because there are uh, legal consequences. Okay, good. If you don't do it. Pero la, a, la, a la hacienda, you must. <laughs> must. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Capital so, letter. Yeah. <laughs> So, so that's the difference, class. It's, it's, sometimes the difference is very big, but sometimes it's small. But if you're going to speak legal terms or authority, autoridad, like Jaime was saying, like the, the face mask, no hay ley, there is no law in El Salvador. Aunque en unos países sí la hay. There is no law that says you must have a, 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 a face mask. But I reglas. If if you go if like if you go to my house, if if you go to a store, if you go to a supermarket, si está esa regla fuera, hey, you must use a a mask, then you have to respect that rule. Okay. I see that there are some rules. Uh, if you if you if you want to enter to El Salvador, you need to have a PCR test, no? Yes. In this case, I think you must have one. <clears throat> you must have. If you travel to the United States, it's it, it, it an, an obligation to have a PCR test. Uh -huh. You have to have. Uh -huh. or, or you should have. No, no but if, if you travel from the Salvador to the United States, it's it, it not, uh, not necessary. It's not, oh, okay. an, okay. it not an obligation. It's not an obligation. Okay. Entonces puede ser un, un buen consejo. Hey, you should. You should. Ah, yeah. 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 Should. Okay. You, you, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah exactly. but, but but for come back for, to enter to El Salvador, you must. Yeah, must to to have a, a to, to to have a, a PCR, PCR test. Okay, good. 
So that's a good example, Jaime. Thank you for that. So to enter El Salvador, you must have a PCR test. Yeah, yeah. To go to the United States, you should have one. You should, you should, yeah. You see, that's, that's where there's a big difference. Very good. Thank yeah, you for that yeah. example, Jaime. Very good. All right, so let's see what's next. But your, but your result test should be, must be negative to eat there, to go exactly. into El Salvador. Exactly, that's good too. All right, let's see you here. Can, you, can, you can enter, you can enter, uh, you can uh, take a, a uh, air, uh, uh, plane in the United States that the airline said, okay, if you, if you, if you don't have a PCR test, you can, you can take a, a, a plane. Yes, but it's negative test. Yes. It's not yeah. only test, it's a negative test. Yeah, yeah, PCR, PCR test. It, uh, you have negative. If you have positive, positive then you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's hear the knowledge check. Complete the sentences positively or negatively. Use the verb in parentheses along with models. Uh, people blank to use the cell phones while driving. Shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. Very good. Yes, that's correct. They shouldn't be allowed. Yes. Yes. Um, I think there should be more more rules for motorcycle to buy a motorcycle in El Salvador. Yeah. Yes. That's I've seen people texting motorcycles. You know what I saw one yes. time? I promise Me you. Too. <laughs> I promise you, I swear this is true. I was coming down from Los Planes. The man, the woman, and the baby, right? Mm. But the woman was breastfeeding the baby. Really? I was like, oh my God, that's, that's, um, yeah, the woman was breastfeeding the baby, man. And they were going down. Y acelerando embajada, consta. Y después, ¿por qué te lo llevas, señor? Oh. <laughs> Por bruto. <laughs> you know, this. All right, so number two, young people get married before 15. Oh. Must be permitted. That's, 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 Must teacher, what? sorry. Must sorry, be. what, what yes. number, number yes. check is? 5.2. Oh, yeah, we're in 5.2, knowledge check. 5.2. Yes. Young people, blank, Thank you. to get married before age 15? Must not be permitted. Okay. Somebody said must not be permitted. Something else? Must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Well, I think I think you, you can't get married in a Salvador at age 15, right? Or in America. Where? I don't think so. I heard that, that with permission of parents, they can. I don't know if- Oh you... yeah, oh yes, it's true, it's yeah. true. In, um, in Iraq, in Pakistan, in all those places, it's, it's, yeah. it's normal. It's normal. Number three, companies should, must, auto yes. give workers periodic breaks. Should be required. Must, must be required. Okay, must be required to give workers periodic breaks. People blank to have pets in high rise apartments. Shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. Shouldn't be allowed. Number five, scientists blank to use animal res for research permit. Shouldn't be permitted. Be okay, permitted. good. Aquí es use, not use. Mm. Use. Okay. Use. Yeah. 
is phonetic. Use. Yeah. <laughs> use. Yes. Scientists scientists shouldn't be permitted to use animals for research. Only cats, please. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, laws blank to ban the sale of handguns. Must be passed. Must be passed. Must be passed. Must not be passed. Must not be passed. Both of them. Well, it depends. Do you want the sale of handguns? This must not be passed. Porque ban is prohibir. Mm -hmm. yes, so what is it? Por eso, recuerden que esto es subjetivo, like, it's your opinion. Si ustedes están a favor de las armas, laws must not be passed to ban the sale of handguns. Mm. Si ustedes están en passed. contra, no, must be passed. Uh -huh. Must be passed to ban the sale of handguns. Yeah. This this is a very big topic in the United States. Yeah. Este este que rompe el hielo. Like must you know, in, in El Salvador is religion. No, ese presidente no no está casado. Dios guarde. You know, no está casado bajo la ley. Yes. In the United States, este es el mucho a favor y otro en contra de guns. Handguns. Yes. Number seven, the sale of products, fur products, products. blank permit. Shouldn't, Shouldn't be, be permitted. permitted. Shouldn't be permitted. Must, oh, no, it must, depends must, too. That's, yes, must it be, depends. Be must, must be. be must be. Should be, must be, or must be not. Yeah, you see, you that's why, that's why, really, every answer is possible. Yes. Si usted es un, un um, ¿cómo es? Americano nativo, <laughs> the sale for products must be permitted. Okay. okay, number eight, something blank to stop clubs from staying open so late. Should be done. Should be done. Something should be done. Good. Must be must, must be, be done. done. Shouldn't be done. Okay, that's another good example. Alguien dijo something should be done. Or alguien dijo something, something must, must be, be done. done. Depende something como uno lo dice, es más serio. Okay, no, that, that's good. Si uno dice, hey, something must be done. Estoy pidiendo, hey, así legalmente tienen que hacer algo. O, oh, hey, deberían de hacer algo. You know, it depends, it depends how serious you are. And who you are. Yes. <laughs> For example, pedophiles. They should be hung or they must be hung. They must, must be, be hung. They, they must, must be. be hung. <laughs> they, they must, must be, be no, I, I think they must, like, they must suffer. Yeah. They must suffer the rest of their life. Every day, uh, wishing they die. Like, oh, man, I want to die today. But no, nope, you can't. You will suffer the rest you of your life. To suffer. <laughs> yeah. You know, cut their arms. With a nail. Cut her. Yes. <laughs> cut their arms. <laughs> No, but you see, you see the difference though. When depends how personal the the topic is for you. You say, like for me, um, that's very personal. The pedophiles, pedophiles. Yeah. And for me, I say no, man. Pedophiles must be killed. But for other people, I say no. They should be. They should be punished. Yes. So it I I easy pass I'll should and must and have to. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Like uh, for me for me the public transportation should be national.
the public transportation in El Salvador, it should be um, almost nationalized. Nationalized. I think. Okay. No está funcionando, sí, right? So the other option is que se nos nacionalice. Creo que no puede ser peor. All right. So, like I told you, it's a matter of opinion, okay? In, the, in this class, participants will be introduced to tag questions. Ooh, for opinions. Tag Teacher. questions. Yes. Oh. Uh, could you tell me what is the correct answer for number two? For this one? The young the people. To get married before age. Okay, what did I what can't did, do that? Uh, shouldn't be permitted. It shouldn't. Permitted. Shouldn't. Should because. not. Shouldn't. Let me see. Shouldn't. And we have the. And again, someone moved my. Did you get it? Not because always is incorrect. It's always incorrect. Always. You must always. not be permitted. What? Must not, not be. be permitted. Must be? Must not. Must not. Must not. Be permitted. You know, every time we have a reunion, I always talk to them about knowledge check and I tell them I don't like this because it's a matter of opinion. Yeah. And you're making it a fact, like, no, it's this. And Thank you. It's not, it's not I got it. You. Okay, okay, good. It's, it, it's, it's an open question, actually. Like, if you make a close-ended question, yes, that, that would be easier because there's only one or one possible answer. But this is a matter of opinion. Next, we have tag questions. But, but the, Hey, but in this chair, in this in this uh, sentence, if you use mustn't be permitted, that the the platform is saying that is incorrect. It's must not. Must not be permitted. Uh, mustn't doesn't exist. It's must not. It's must not. Uh -huh. Okay. Look. Next tag questions. It's a little bit tricky because it doesn't exist in Spanish. I must in, in that not not it not not in existence in in English. No, uh, tag question. In poca palabra, say bear. What do we say bear? Like the the isn't it? Do it. Yeah. Isn't it? Is it? <laughs> a is it el chavo del? Oh, you know, I don't know. Is it el chavo del car wash bear? <laughs> you know? Yeah, that, that, that would be a tag question. So, yeah. si se dan cuenta, it's a little bit of a, a doubt. You're not very yeah. sure. So, yeah. so if you... I think a confirmation, right? Yes. So, if you start positive, you finish a negative question. Negative. Yeah. If you start negative, you finish in a, a positive question. Like example, Ingrid. <laughs> Yes, Ingrid, you are not married. Are you? No. But listen to this. Are you? No. Good. If you notice, in percent negative, you are not married. A negative statement. A negative, you're not married. Are you? It termina with positive. Uh, a positive question. Are you? So no está casada, vea. <laughs> Bear. No. Bear. But I say for, 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 for make sure. Yeah, just to make sure. Okay, so that <laughs> that is a tag question. And, and really, yeah, a, this is very common in, in the United States, so uh, in, in English. So, um, and really in Spanish, I, I every time I, I, I do this, there is no Spanish grammar for this. Sería, Ingrid, usted no está casada, o si lo está? 
<laughs> yeah, that, it's strange. That would be it, yes. Uh -huh. Ingrid, usted no está casada. Eh, afirmación negativa. ¿Cómo es? Confirmation. O si lo está, pregunta positiva. Let's listen to what she says. You have to share the screen. Maybe you can't hear. You have to share the screen. We don't hear and oh. see nothing. Oh, sorry <laughs> about that. There you go. Yeah. Can you see it? There it is. Yeah. There you all go. All right. All right. All right. Good. Health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part-time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full-time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so, too. But they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So, what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay, let's listen to the grammar of um, of a tag question. If you notice, she said a lot of aren't I. Okay, here's the grammar. Hi, welcome back. Let me ask you something. Learning English is easy, isn't it? I thought so. Tag questions for opinions. Affirmative statement plus negative tag. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? There are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Negative statement plus affirmative tag. Child care isn't cheap, is it? There aren't enough police, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? You can't find affordable child care, can you? I will begin the explanation telling you when to use tag questions. We use tag questions when we expect someone to agree with us or when we're asking for confirmation. This is how tag questions work. When a statement is affirmative, the tag question is negative. For example, learning English is easy, isn't it? Learning English is our positive statement. And isn't it is our tag question in negative. We may also do it the other way around. Negative statement, affirmative tag question. Childcare isn't cheap, is it? I also want to explain that when we use be, as the main verb, be is also used in the question. Similarly, we use the same model in the main clause and the tag. For example, we should pay our taxes, shouldn't we? However, simple present and past verbs use the auxiliary verb in the tag. For example, 
Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? You found affordable childcare, didn't you? Main verb. B is also. Okay, you are. What is the negative of you are? You aren't. Aren't you? You aren't. Good. What is the question? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? So, at that question, okay, como dice aquí, it's an opinion or a doubt. I go also like, mm, uh, mm -hmm. you're not a doctor, are you? Or it's an opinion. Yes. Well, for example, Celia, Celia Cruz was ugly, wasn't she? <laughs> great music, great music, but she was ugly. <laughs> Florentino pays all the all the games for the Madrid, doesn't he? <laughs> A example. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk bad about Barca. So, uh, Ronnie loves his married life, doesn't he? Yes, I love. <laughs> he loves his married yeah, be, life. Be, believe me. <laughs> okay. No, I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> I'm. I'm 18 years. Get married. I, I've been married 18 okay. years. Yes, you die if you if you divorce. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Good. Teacher, so that, for uh, the for example, when when we start the first question in negative, the second question is positive. Yes. That's so it's question. it's very look it's very simple it's very simple depende okay. que tan seguro está if you're if you're sure you start Stay negative ready. I'm sorry you start affirmative and finish with a negative question like um, Ronnie you are married aren't you yes, está casado good you see I'm estoy más seguro que sí que que no mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I can change Ronnie. Um, you're not married, are you? No está casado, ¿sí? Sí, you are not married. Are you? Are you? You are married. You are? No, 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 no. You are aren't married, you? Aren't, aren't you? Yes. Aren't you? Okay. So it's very simple. Así está. You are, just flip it. Are you? Gio, you're married, aren't you? Uh, you are happy, aren't you? For, for, for example, teacher. For, for example, teacher. This is a, a, a true question. Okay. This is the last <laughs> class. Isn't? <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? Very good. Yes. Hey, what next is the, week is you, Christmas. You Isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, next week is Christmas. Isn't it? Yes, it is. Really? Exactly in a week. Yeah. Mm. Carla, you live in La Ivo, don't you? Yes, I, I do. And this is a trick to know which auxiliary to use. You live in La Ivo. So you live. What is the negative of you live? You don't I'm live. Man. You are in not so that's the auxiliary. Don't you? Exactly. You live in La Ivo. Don't you? Are you? So don't if you? you don't know what to say, then analyze. You gave an affirmative statement. You live in La Ivo. ¿Cómo sería negativo? You don't live, live in La Ivo. Oh, so that's the auxiliary don't you? then. Uh, you live in La Ivo, don't you? Don't yes, I do. You like pupusas. Don't you? Don't you? Mm -hmm. Ruth Castro lives in Cojutepeque, doesn't she? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Lo más fácil es la respuesta, because 
Yes, I do, or no, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this this I would really recommend you to practice because it doesn't really exist in Spanish. The Spanish would be ba, yes. ba. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. hey, you you meet Roberto Costa, do you? Don't you? Don't you? Don't you? Uh, you meet Roberto or you Costa. met? You met. Oh yes, I do. Uh, if I ever write a book about my youth, mi juventud, crazy youth, and all the stupid things I did, he is in the complete book. <laughs> we did many, many stupid things. But and we, we are alive. In, in this example, yeah, you meet the... You met. You, you met, met in this case, what is the, the third question? Is, uh... Okay, very good question. You no. met, okay, first of all, you met is past, right? Yeah. yeah. What? Okay, so you met Roberto Costa. What is the negative of that? Didn't. Didn't you? Yeah. You didn't, didn't meet. Uh -huh. So, yeah, okay, good. But like Jaime, he said he didn't know what, what goes next. So it's simple. You met Roberto Costa. So what would be the negative of you met? You didn't meet. Uh -huh. So then that didn't Did, would be the, the end, the tag question. Teacher, but, but the, you, when you use met, is because, for example, in, in the case of Roberto, he's deaf. But in this case, you still be friend with him. Is, so we use met. No, Who so is? then in this case, you are friends with. Mm. Are you? Aren't you? Yes. You are friends with uh, Roberto, aren't you? Yes, I am. Well, in, in Spanish, I I I, am, I understand. You are a friend of. Tu conociste a Roberto. Is it tu conoces? Is just met. No, no, no. Uh, meet is un encuentro. But depends. Mm. What do you want to say? Si lo conocí o si lo conozco. Ah, yo entiendo por qué. Porque en español es el mismo. Conoces es you know. Ajá, uh -huh, you know. Oh. You know. Eh, Acosta, what do you say? Don't you? Don't you? Listen to this example. Man, I have a problem because my wife is going to open her clinic and we don't have a logo. Hey, Gio, you are a designer, aren't you? No, I don't. You're not? You are. Yeah, it's basically. Oh, yeah. We're no, no, pero, conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Pero, ¿tú dijiste, tú dijiste, no, I don't. It's no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm not. Or, or imagine this, man. I, I have problems from the recurso humano. I have been into. Hey, Ingrid, you work in human resources, don't you? Yes, I do. Okay, I need, I need help. No. In, the, in that situation, you see that that situation, like, like for example, in the blog, in the pasaje, yo soy el de inglés, you know, like todos los hijos que no entienden algo, mamá no entiende. Hey, el vecino habla inglés, ¿verdad? Anda a preguntarle. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. You, yes, uh, hola. Dicen que tengo un examen mañana. Oh, okay, yes. No, but you see that situation? Hey, el vecino habla inglés, ¿verdad? That, that's a tag question in Spanish. Escarero, vea. Escarero, vea. Pero cobra. <laughs> No, man, una vez, una vez me viene a tocar justo en el final de, de The Walking Dead, man. I was like, yeah. Really? Cuando, cuando Rick, supuestamente, you know, like, oh, no. Like, hey, don't you, don't you watch The Walking Dead, man? Okay, so... You watch The Walking Dead? Yeah. Yes. I, I like, like The Walking series. Dead, but the last three seasons are boring. 
Yes. I the agree. first, I, the first. I, I think that. Four... Oh my God. Yes. I, don't I think know. that he 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 lost the the focus of the series. Yeah, the I the really first two it. seasons were great, man. The first two were yeah. excellent. I Three don't and know. Four were okay. I don't know why I feel nice when I watched zombies. I don't know why I feel desperate. Desperate. Really, they makes me feel anxiety. I feel hungry. I don't know why. I feel hungry. <laughs> no. I, feel hungry when I, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, they ruined I, the series after they killed Glenn. Yeah, that's true. That you know, that was for me one of the most shocking things. I was like, Ugh. I cried. <laughs> I cried over a week for Glenn. No, I didn't cry for Glenn porque era tanto el ya sabía uno he was gonna die. I cried for Earl, the, the old man. Yeah. They I became was, oh. zombies at the end. No, because they killed him. But I no, because Earl, I did not know they were gonna kill him. Negan. And remember that Earl said, you see? We can be good people. That was sad. Yeah. Okay, so that was sad, wasn't it? Uh, okay, so it says very you, ugly die in that a way. Very ugly die. Became yes. a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mira, aquí está la, la pista. Look, you can see my screen, right? Yeah. Yes. You can't. Te dice you can't, ya sabemos cómo va a terminar. What is the the contrary of you can't. Can you? Can you. No, actually, the contrary of can is can you. Oh, you can't you can. is you can. You can. And the question would be, can you? Can you? Can you? So it says you can't escape advertising nowadays. Can you? Can you? Can you? Yes, in YouTube. Can you? Uh, I, yes. These aren't enough gun, uh, I'm sorry, there aren't enough gun control laws. Are there? Are there. Are there, very good, all right, cool. Noise pollution is a major problem here. Isn't it? Hey, nice. There are more and more homeless people on the streets. Aren't there? Are there? Are there? Good. Here's one for me. Hey, there are more and more and more motorcycles on the street. Hmm. Aren't they? Aren't there? There are, man. The sales tax shouldn't be lowered. I'm sorry, it shouldn't be lowered. I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat. The sales tax should be lowered. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? Very good, because... We started uh, affirmative, we finished yeah. negative. Next, it isn't. De entrada, Ricardo, ¿cómo va a terminar? It isn't, is it, yes. It isn't easy to save money these days. Is it? Yes. Downsi downsizing is hurting economy. Isn't it? Do you know what downsizing is? Downsizing, yes. But I reduce the... the, the, the reduce. Yeah. It's reducing anything. It's like reducing your supermarket, reducing your your lifestyle. It's, it's downsizing. The city doesn't do enough for stray animals. Does it? Does it? Does it. Excelento, yes. Now, hey, pensé que le iba a costar más the um, frisel, uh, the, the tag questions because they don't exist in Spanish. Can you imagine alguien que está hablando solo el inglés y aprenda, hey, tag questions en español? Es fácil, <laughs> solo termina en verdad. Vea. Vea. No, vea. Vea. Pues sí. Tú estás casado. Pues sí. Vea. Vea. Va. Va. <laughs> Estamos perdidos, va. Va. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
O like, oh, hey, esto no era agua, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that's vodka. Oh, okay. And the obvious, the obvious stuff, like, te caíste? That would be that question or not. <laughs> My journey in the floor. <laughs> in the floor. <laughs> Uh -huh, like, <laughs> yeah. like, no, no, I just. <laughs> it went with the rain. <laughs> yeah. Like, and team flash, poop, poop, make the guys, no, I see what. <laughs> you like and team flash? I love and team flash. He's the master. Yeah. He is yeah. the master, man. I think and team flash and Charlie Chaplin are maybe the greatest comics. Yeah. All right, cool. Bah. Mm -hmm. Uh, what happened? Wait, which is my mouse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pronunciation, intonation, and tag questions. This is easy because in the la in the question is where, where where the intonation goes. Like, like Ingrid, you're not married, are you? You see the intonation? No. Uh, Carla, you work in the bank, don't you? Actually, in the intonation. You use facial because imagine this. Imagine, I see it sounds very boring. Um, Ronnie, you are married, aren't you? <laughs> it's boring. I'm a robot. Or I say it faster Ronnie, you're not married, are you? No, because remember, it's a tag no. question, it has to have a little bit of, of um mystery like hey ronnie you're yes. not married are you like example me when i hit the camera and like hey me say hey you're not brad pitt are you I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no no i'm not but thank you thank you oh are you sure i'm his no. brother you say <laughs> are you sure <laughs> i'm not can i take a selfie anyway okay let's take it but i'm not brad pitt <laughs> All right, so let's hear the lady. Listen and practice. Use following intonation in tough questions when you're giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Intonation in tag questions. Part A. Listen and practice. Use falling intonation in tag questions when you are giving an opinion and want to know if the other person agrees. Ethnic conflict is a terrible problem, isn't it? They should make guns illegal, shouldn't they? Before we go, we want to remind you that you may play the audio programs, explanations, and videos as many times as you need to. It is always a good idea to practice with your friends. Okay, um, so remember, this is like a, intonation is your your style, your attitude, your character. Imagine, okay, I'm sorry about this, but imagine I make jokes, Jesus. Imagine I make bad jokes about Jesus or about God. Like, <laughs> entonces you say, um, excuse me, you're not Christian, are you? You're right, uno llega a esa conclusión. Like, you're not Christian, are you? Why? Because you you make fun of God too much. And oh, okay. Un ejemplo, right? Or okay, imagine I talk very bad all the time about, about the president. About Bukele. Ah, Bukele is this, Bukele is that, Bukele. <laughs> wow, you know he's alive. But I don't really talk directly bad about him, you know, because like the government, and it's always, you know, the tanto letter you say, you know, the conclusion is, um, you're not a fan of the president, are you? <laughs> like, why do you say that? <laughs> you hate Bukele, aren't you? <laughs> don't you? Don't you? Yes. Not, you're not. Why do you say that? <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
Like who? Me? Bob Kelly. Don't don't you? You love Bukele, don't you? You know, yeah, it depends. You know, sometimes, imagine if I say I hate Bukele, you don't, you're not going to ask me, you hate Bukele, don't you? Porque lo dije. But if I talk bad about him or good, it's your conclusion. Hey, you're not a fan of Bukele, are you? Oh, no, I'm not. Or imagine I talk good about him. No, I mean, this, this president, this... Then you tell me, hey, uh, you like Bukele, don't you? Hmm. Remember when you were a kid and you always looked at the girl? Like, it is, yeah. Hey, you like Sylvia, don't you? No, no. Why? Because he has. You're always looking at her. So, I like to look. <laughs> All right. So that's a tag question. Let me see. Let me see. We're going to do the the half an hour of the of the Friday that I I didn't have internet. The Friday that I didn't pay internet. Oh, Jaime. Yeah. Imagine, let's go back two weeks. Se me fue el internet. What uh -huh. is your tag question? Don't you? Give me a tag question. Like, oh my God, class, my internet is down. You pay the bill, didn't you? Okay, very good. You pay the bill, didn't you? Yes, I did. You get the bill, didn't you? Or you didn't pay the bill, did you? Did you? No pagaste recibo. Why? Yes, that that would be that would be the correct, um, the correct way. Okay, listen to this reading here. It says. Let me move this. How serious is plagiarism? Do you know what plagiarism is? It's similar in Spanish. Yes. Yes. When you take something. When you stone, you stone. Yeah. And let's say an another idea. Another job. You present it like another this. project. Another song. In music is more. Yeah, it usually oh happens a lot in music. In advertising too. Yes. Oh yeah, in advertising too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going but to read. Teacher, is, is, yes. Teacher, uh, uh, David, you said Bukele has money to give away. Okay, good. So, what is the negative of Bukele has money? Has he? No, what is the negative? Bukele has Didn't. money. Didn't. Hasn't he? Exactly. The negative of Bukele has money is Bukele doesn't have money. Doesn't so then you're looking for doesn't. Doesn't have. Yes. So the uh, in this case is Bukele has money to give away, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yes. I mean, he's a third person. Isn't he? <laughs> Isn't, he? <laughs> Isn't he? Isn't he? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen to this. Recently, a biology teacher in Kansas, a state in the American Midwest, made national and even international news. After Christine Pelton discovered that 28 of her 118 students had plagiarized parts of a major project, she gave them failing grades. Ooh. Although this was the school policy, the students' parents complained. The school board directed Ms. Pelton to change the punishment. They told her that 600 points should be taken from the offenders rather than the entire 1,800 points. Ms. Pelton signed in, pro in protest. Why did this become such a significant story? 
Perhaps it, perhaps it is because so many people feel strongly that it's right and wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. Because so many people feel strongly about what is right and wrong. Although the incident may soon be forgotten, it raised important questions. What is plagiarism? How serious is it? The simple forms of plagiarisms occur when someone copies material without giving credit to the source. However, there are more serious forms, such as when a student pays someone else to write an essay. Some people claim that copying is necessary to do well in school. They have realized that their own words are not good as someone else. Another common argument is that everyone does it, so it's not a big deal. In fact, it has been learned that even some highly respected figures, including Martin Luther King, have plagiarized. Although some people find reasons to justify plagiarism, others feel the issue is clear cut. They feel it is morally wrong and consider it stealing and consider it stealing, a theft of ideas rather than money. These people believe that the students who plagiarize benefits unfairly. They receive a better grade than they deserve. So, what about the incident in Kansas? What was the original pun punishment too severe? Was the original punishment too severe? Do teachers have the right to tell students and parents what is right or wrong? Ms. Pelton, would probably say that the job of a teacher is to do exactly that. I think she did the right thing, in my opinion. What do you think? I agree. Imagine, imagine if, if the Beatles or like famous groups would discover about all the groups here that plagiarism, like, Por que llorar? <laughs> every, every <laughs> hit, every, like, Lo Beats, Los Luis Lopez, or whatever, like, you know that rock and roll that your parents listen to? Yeah. When you listen to that, that's in English, man. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. a, that's, that's the <laughs> Marito Rivera, you know. <laughs> Plagiarism. Mana, do you know Mana? They had to pay for plagiarism for Nube Viaje. ¿Cómo es? Mariposa Traicionera. I think plagiarism is necessary to learn. I'm sorry? Uh, plagiarism is necessary to learn. To learn about something, how to plagiarism, whatever. Yes. Why my... Sorry. Yes. Mostly. I haven't. I don't like Mana, but I didn't. Come on. Um, I, 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 can, I, can, I can pass Mana. I no, but it. they pay. They are like pockets. Like they got sued. Do <laughs> you know why? What? Because the, uh, yeah. the no, girl uh, yes. or. And if that's a gender, it's right. But um, the comparison, because it's, for me, Mana is not rock enough, it's not pop too. But it's, I don't know why they can sing, but that is my opinion. <laughs> because for me, they are not rock. No. Um, and, no, what, what I was telling you is that, uh, you know that song, uh, oh, yeah, eh, eh, what's his name? Um, Mariposa Traicionera? Yeah. And it's true, it's true. Lo demandó el que canta Traicionera. Oye, Traicionera, aunque yo me muera. Mm. The guitar part. Tan, 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 tan. Y lo ganó, pero Maná pagó fuera de corte. I know the song Leadership Symphony. Oh yeah, but that, that wasn't they, plagiarism. There's they, a big story um, about Robinson. that song. Yes. Yes. Sorry. It's true. 
Yes, it's true. Plagiarism. Coldplay, they have done like five songs of plagiarism. Okay, yeah. so the teacher's story appeared in national news. Six, number six. six. Number six. Why number six? Because the platform says. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, true, that's for sure. <laughs> you made it, you made it. And then... The teacher gave <laughs> students failing grades. <laughs> I like, I like your conclusion. I like hey, your answer. Ricardo, I was Mayeri, happy. Mayeri, hey, right to are... the point. I was happy. I was like, yeah, you, you did it. You understood. No, because the platform says. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo oh. Player is. Yes. <laughs> okay, the students' parents were angry. Three. Uh, number because the platform two. says. Uh, number two. The teachers <laughs> left our job. Number, number five. Five. Okay. five. <laughs> the group of students cheated on an assignment. Yeah. Wow. Number one. 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 The school board told the teacher to change one. the scores. Four. 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 Four, 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 two, nine. Wow. Go. Wow, Ricardo. The platform says. That was awesome because the platform says. You pass the course, eh, eh, Ricardo. <laughs> Yes. All right, let's listen to this now. Congratulations, Three. Ricardo. Hey, Erica, I hear you're studying filmmaking. Yeah, it's what I've always wanted to do. So what has to happen to make a movie? First, the director divides the script into scenes. Oh, why is that? Well, the scenes may not be shot in the order they appear in the script. Different scenes may have to be done at different locations or at certain times, you know? So, the director is someone who is very organized. Absolutely. Anyway, many different shots are taken, and the director chooses the best takes. So, how is the final version made? Well, the takes are put together by the director and the editor. Then music, sound effects, and any computer graphics are added. And there's your movie. Four. Cheryl, these are great photos. What's your secret? Well, so what is the final version of a movie? It's put, it put together, together, together by the, by the editor and the director. And this is because you listen to the story or because the platform says? Because the platform I hear it. Says. You listen. <laughs> listen. We hear it. What? <laughs> <laughs> we heard, we heard, we, we did it wrong, and the this. platform says. <laughs> hey, Ricardo, give the true priest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I studied photography in school. After that, I was a photojournalist at a magazine for three years. But look at these landscape shots. Is landscape photography something that requires special skills? Yes, pictures of landscapes have to be taken with great care. You need to make sure that as much of your scene as possible is in focus. What about weather? Well, most people think the best pictures are taken on a sunny day, but that isn't always true. An overcast rainy day or a snowy day could offer you better opportunities to take interesting pictures. Taking a picture in bad weather requires a bit of a risk, I imagine. But the results are worth it. These are really incredible, Cheryl. All right. Ricardo. Cheryl, Cheryl says it's a good landscape photographer has to understand. What did the platform say? How oh, weather can affect, affect, affect a photo. Affect a photo. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, let's you listen to the audio, Ingrid? Hey, Ray, it was yeah. quite a party last night. Yeah, it was fun. I'm still cleaning up, though. What are you doing with all the bottles and cans? I'll take the cans to the recycling center and throw away the bottles. Oh, no, you should take the bottles, too. 
Nah, I don't get any money for recycling glass. No, but I think everyone should be required to recycle glass anyway. It's a waste to throw it away. Yeah, but recycling centers should be required to pay people who return cans and bottles. Then they won't throw them away. Two. Hey, Danielle. I saw you biking to work yesterday. Oh, yeah. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic down. I'm sorry. Uh, what was Ray doesn't recycle glass because? He doesn't, doesn't get, get any, any money. 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 All right. Thank you. When my car died, I decided to buy a bike. I figured I could do something about the traffic downtown and get some exercise at the same time. But there are very few bike lanes, aren't there? And in any case, cars use them. I know. Drivers who do that should be fined. A hundred dollars at least. It's so dangerous. And cyclists don't always behave so well either. I've seen them ride side by side and not allow cars to pass. Yeah, and I've seen cyclists without helmets, too. Yeah, cyclists should be required to wear helmets. And if they don't, they should be fined $100. All right, Daniel, Danielle. That's the difference between Daniel, boy, and Danielle, girl. I like that name. I always like Danielle. Yeah. Um, yeah. Danielle bought a bike because she, she wants, wants to reduce, to reduce traffic. traffic. Reduce traffic. Thank you. Platform. Okay, the reading. Did you do this part? Yes. Okay, let's do it real quick. It says animated movies aren't just for kids anymore. Some of the most popular movies of 2010 were. Toy Story 3, How to Train Your Dragon, and Desperate, Despicable Me. In fact, Pixar's Toy Story 3 became the highest grossing animated movie ever made. Animated movies are fast becoming an important force in movie industry. Making animated movies can take much longer than making a traditional movie. This is partly because approximately seven hours are needed to render one single frame of an animated movie. Wow. In fact, some frames can take up to 39 hours to render. Toy Story 3 took 1,084 days or nearly three years to make. Most animated movies have big, um, have big name stars attached to them to voice the characters. Tom Hanks voiced the characters of Woody in Toy Story movies, while Angelina Jolie was the voice of Tiger of Tigress in Kung Fu Panda. Using famous actors to voice animated characters is, mean, is meant to tempt adults into going to animated movies with their children. Studio executives know that the bigger the name, the more likely adults will tag along with their kids. To further emphasize the impact animated movies have had on the movie industry, the Academy, I'm sorry, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science began, out, um, began giving out uh, Academy Awards for Best Animated Feature in 2001. The prestige of winning such an important award results in more ticket sales for movie theaters and profit for animated movie makers. A good, a good title for the article would be Animated Movie Makers and Awards. Yeah. 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 You I have a, like a big echo. Hey, you, hey, Ricardo, you have good memory. <laughs> <laughs> Render means? In memory. Bring a fact. In, in fact, in your mind that you knew before. <laughs> <laughs> Past means? Choose actors for parts. Okay, good. Animated movies have an effect on the movie industry. A positive, positive negative. Positive. Mm -hmm. 
All right, write the words. <clears throat> Part one, instructions. Anita accidentally deleted important files. So her boss wasn't prepared for an important meeting. Read sentences and choose from the words below to the one best defines it. Criticism, excuse, prediction, suggestions, warning or reaction. You should keep track of your computer files. Suggestion. 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 Mm. If you do it again, you'll lose your job. Warning. Warning, Warning. yes. You're so irresponsible, you lose everything. Criticism. Yes. It wasn't your fault. Someone else deleted the file. Excuse. 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 You probably find the file in the trash on your computer. That's a prediction. Prediction. Yes, that's true. Instructions. Complete the paragraph. Use the passive of the verbs given. The passive, remember. To prepare for a TV show, researchers, uh, research has to, to be done. Be done. Be be done. done. To find interesting guests, so as movie stars, such as movie stars and authors. Next, the selected people must blank rank in order of preference. Must be, be ra ranked. must be ranked. Ranked. Yes. The top choices are contacted are, are contacted to see if they can appear on the show good if some of the if some of them are unavailable the next people on the list are invited are invited are in to appear instead, instead. Okay. you guys have good memory like boom uh -huh. <laughs> okay, join the sentences. It says in instructions. Join the sentences with who or that. Make any changes where needed. Examples. TV sitcoms future feature actors. They are recognized by viewers around the world. TV sitcoms feature actors who are recognized by viewers around the world. A newspaper clerk has to do a lot of research. He, he or she is often new to journalism. A newspaper uh, clerk who is often new to journalism has to do a lot of research. A gaffer has to carry on the lightning design. He or she works in a movie or TV crew. Who or that? Who, who, a gaffer who works with a movie TV group has to carry out the lighting design. Good. And obviously, a gaffer is a person, so obviously it has to be who. Okay, dialogues, dialogue editors are sound technicians. They specialize in editing the film scripts. Dialogue editors are sound technicians. She has her specialized in the leading film script. That? That. That. Okay. No, who? Who, yes. Yeah. Who? Who is special? Dialogue editor. Yes, dialogue editors are sound technicians who specialize in editing film scripts. The, the platform is, uh, is both. It's it both. Is who is both. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, have you seen those people in their job? It's, it's cool because they're watching the movie and they're making sounds. Yeah. That, that would be very cool to work in. Okay, uh, property master is responsible for buying props. They are handled by actors. The property master is responsible for buying props that are handled by the actors. That, yes, because props is an object. So we yeah. use that. 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 Critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than 10 movies, than 10 Can new you movies a week. Three, please? Yes, number three is that. Okay. That, and the reason is because we're talking about props, not about people. 
So the difference is very simple here. Who and that. Who is, every time you say who is a person. It's people, a person. Yeah. Okay, critics write film reviews. They sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week. Yeah, critics they sometimes see more than 10 new movies a week. Write films review. Yeah. Who? Who? Good. Yeah. yeah. And Ooh. number five, it would be executive producers aren't involved in shooting a film. They are responsible for the budget. Both, both, who in that? Executive producers aren't involved in a shooting film. They are responsible for the budget. What would be the complete answer? I don't know. I have it wrong. Executive, executive producer. I have troubles in this I'm answer for, because for I. What the budget? Comma aren't involving in shooting a file, a film. Film. Okay, yes. well, I'm sorry. What did you have, Jaime? Is who? Is who? Is yes. A security producer. Who aren't involved? Who are who are responsible, responsible for the budget? Comma mm -hmm. are involving in shooting film. Exactly. Film. Yeah, executive producers who are responsible for the budget, uh -huh. comma, aren't involved in shooting a film. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. I have that, that answer in math, me, uh, negative, in ground. For me, it's wrong. I don't know why. Me too. Really? And I have, yeah. I don't know what is wrong, but I have exactly what Jaime said, and it's wrong. Yes. It's correct. Me too. Probably, probably there is a blank space, okay. or a comma, a period. Yes. Can you try? I that? review. Or I or a capital I, letter. I review. That the correct comma. A security and, producer okay. who. Uh, the letters and are responsible. That is the correct. We responsible for 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 the for the buyer, comma, aren't are involving in shooting a field. That is the correct way. Yes, sir. Probably you have some putting some blank or some letter is not correct. No, I review that and, and it if you continues. <laughs> I have checked it more than three times and there is the same mistake. I don't know why. Can you change who for that? Be careful with the space of the comma. Yeah. Especially in the, in the comma in the letter. I put it in the chat. I write it in the chat if you can. Copy from there. Yes. I am a greedy girl because it's the same answer. Don't forget the mm, period. Okay, I'm going to check in the chat. Okay. In the chat only cop copy and paste. Copy paste. <laughs> <laughs> and, paste. And, and finish and download your certificate. You guys are what the reading we just did are about. The I send, I send, I send them to the to the. But you have to, make, to make credit because, because if you don't, it's a plagiarism. That's plagiarism. Yeah. It works. <laughs> this time it, it works for, for me. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you go. Okay. Congrats. You are past the course. <laughs> Download the yeah. I don't know what is wrong. You are ready for the advance. I got 94, <laughs> so I passed. Okay, good. okay. See, see, see you in the next in the next course. Uh hold on. Let me let me see one thing here. The next year. The next, next year. year. Yeah, about the, the next score. What are you guys gonna do for Christmas? I'm going to eat turkey. Eat and drink. And eat a lot. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm going, going to buy. I'm going to cook it. Gallina. I don't know how to say. How do you say gallina? Ham. Ham. I don't remember. We eat the chicken. Gallina. Ham. <laughs> hey, yeah, there, there for the song. sandwich. <laughs> for the sand there is a song, right? About that. A song what? for kids. Yes. For you, for yes. Kids. There's <laughs> one. <laughs> Do you go to the beach? Yeah. You go, you go I, to I, the beach? I to eat, yeah. I go to eat 26. I have, I have a, a, a trip to the beach. You yeah. take a trip for beach. Yeah, I have a trip for beach in 26. 26. It's a con constable today. You has a farm. Hey, has a farm Ronnie, you are constable today. Yeah. He has a beach house. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> no, I, I have to work these days because I am. Yeah, me too. Employed. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I gave you I gave you there a, 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 a link. This comedian, his name is George Lopez. He is very, very funny and he is Mexican American. He's easy to understand. And the funny thing is he always compares Latino culture with Gringo culture. Uh, man, man. Culture. So there will be some things here that you will understand and it's very funny. For example, yeah. he says, I don't understand now, like he says, gringos are crazy. They think they're Jesus and everybody, you know, everybody believes them. Like David Koresh or Charles Manson. Oh, I'm Jesus. But when a Latino says he's Jesus, nobody believes him. And he is Jesus Gutierrez, Jesus Hernandez. You know. Or like he says, like, have you noticed that um, gringos are a little crazy because the name of the babies, Dakota, mm -hmm. Apple. Imagine in Spanish, we our kids, Chihuahua, come here, ven para acá, Chihuahua, you know. <laughs> Chilango, you know. <laughs> yeah, he says you can't do that in Spanish. You know, it, it's very funny. If you can't watch him, he is, and he speaks very. You will understand. I promise. You will understand his dialect. It's very funny. Okay, okay, class. Thank you very much for everything. Have a very wonderful Christmas. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. I hope I see you again. Yeah. Okay. okay Thank you, teacher. You. Enjoy. Okay. Don't drive if you drink. I came for I came for a little for the coronavirus. Yeah. Yeah. Please be careful for that. Yeah. Don't careful. drink a lot. Okay. Don't drink a lot. What you don't have to do? Invite me. <laughs> yeah. Don't drink and drive because you can drop your drink. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Okay. See Christmas. you next time. Bye. 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 Bye.